guys and welcome back to Mika Reacts and Reviews, where we act and review to things on the internet. And today we are returning with Adam Calhoun, but it's not a song per se. Even though I heard that he's coming out with a new song soon, or maybe a new album or something. But we are going to be reacting to the video that he uploaded 12 hours ago called The Last Era of Man and it has 74,000 views and 16,000 likes. So I decided to react to this one even though it's a non-musical one because you know Adam Cahoon gives you a bit of alpha maleness. And so I thought I would like to see what he thinks about the era of men or masculinity or men of today's era. If you like these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal me link is in the description box below. And also in the comment section, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Hi, friends. Listen. You guys, they keep unsubscribing people from my YouTube channel. So if you think you're subscribed and you're watching this video, go check and make sure you're subscribed. I love you guys. Here we go. I come from a special era where they told us we could be doctors, astronauts, the president. My friends and I fell out of trees building forts. We walked around with casts on our arms or our legs like it was a badge of honor. And instead of feeling sorry for our poor little broken bones, <laughs> We made it badass. We had all our friends sign it. Like we were warriors. We didn't wear a mask when we got a cold. I come from my era, man. Like my mom could write a note. I was 10 years old. I would walk it up to the corner store and hand them the note. They'd hand me a pack of cigarettes. I'd walk it back to my mom. I come from where they taught normal shit in school. Two genders. And guess what? You don't get to pick. You are what you have between your, you know, bullying. No, you fought. No more bullying. That's how, that's how that works. I come from an era before these ruined everything. You wanna to talk to a girl? You had to walk up to her and talk to her. You had to be a man. You had to figure shit out. Now we got social media and these kids think they got shit figured out. They saw it on their phone, so it must be true. Now these apps like Facebook, they wanna censor your freedom of speech. They wanna pick and choose what they think misinformation is when they pump out the most misinformation out of anyone. Most parents are giving these phones to their kids to pacify them so they don't gotta deal with them. Orange man, bad. BLM, I'm white, so I'm the problem. Oh no, I gotta see. These phones and these apps tell you what they wanna tell you and they hide the truth and censor anything and anyone that says anything against them. My name's Adam Calhoun and I come from an era that made some of the toughest kids. And we grew up and we're still here today. It's real simple, you wanna have a better world? Start smacking your kids in the back of the head <laughs> and telling them the truth about the world. That's it, I love you guys, fuck you Mike. Okay. I don't know who Mike is and Adam for president. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little speech. I agree with pretty much everything he said. Um, I've talked about it before of the generation of bulldozing and helicopter parenting. I think that was one of the worst things that ever happened to our culture and our society of that philosophy, babying your children up until the point where they're 32 years old. Um, I think that has destroyed our culture. It has made people weak, spineless, easily manipulated, too emotional, soft, thin-skinned. It, it ugh, and it's created also a generation of fucking pseudo philosophers, and, you know, pseudo deep thinkers and shit like that. Uh, I always felt like boys, boys would be boys thing. Like that's kind of where I came from. That's how my family, my uncles and my cousins. That's kind of how they are. It's the same thing. Like if you fall out of a tree, you learn better next time to hold on harder or hold on longer. Like if you scrape your knee or scrape your leg climbing over a fence, you do better next time. Time. You know, you didn't cry or crumble or have a mental breakdown if someone teased you at school or called you a name. Like, I was basically taught the same thing. Someone's bullying you, you know, grab the biggest rock and bust them in the head. I never did that and I don't approve of that message. But I do agree with Adam Calhoun of like defending yourself and sticking up for yourself. We basically have bulldoze, try to bulldoze every obstacle out of the way to the point where you can't even say boo to a child without them needing to take three days off because they have had a traumatic experience or something. 
we have raised a generation or two of really just weak minded people who just can't handle any situations because they were never allowed to as children and they're constantly looking for a hero or someone to make the issue or the problem go away. We've raised a generation of people who cannot, will not help hold themselves accountable or responsible or won't be self-sufficient because it's always someone else's issues, it's always someone else's fault, it's always an outside factor, the reason why you are the way you are. It's society, it's the system, it's the white man, it's the police, it's my mother, it's my father, it's my lover, it's my kids, it's always a problem, so it's not my issue to fix, it's you. And so we've just raised generations of fucked up people and maybe all generations say this about other generations But I really think it has gotten a lot worse um, Again the over feminizing men like we praise men when they wear dresses and fingernail polish and cry at movies But if a man is ambitious and confident and tough and muscular somehow that's scary and toxic and patriarchal and misogyny It's like we've basically beat down men into a bloody pulp and it's also the food and the shit that's in our water and that you know the testosterone is dropping and the male population in the west but you know and so just basically just gonna have a whole society of women basically i have no problem with men being feminine i have no problem with men having to wanting to express their manliness or their masculinity or whatever and however they see fit i have a huge problem with demonizing masculine men know and alpha maleness and trying to put every single problem that's ever existed on the shoulders of white men i have a big issue with that especially doing it to generations of children children kids who have absolutely nothing to do with the past um, making them basically suffer and be punished for something that had nothing to do like was way generations and decades and centuries before their time but they have to pay a price for it you know he talked about the education system the education system has just become a big giant ploy of indoctrination and i actually think the public education system has always been that way i just think it's become more and more and more apparent that it is especially in university you can it's basically a big giant indoctrination like you can't think for yourself you have to think one way and only one way is right and that's why every kid that comes out of a doc out of university all have the same exact ideology and beliefs because it's just a giant big giant indoctrination play and he's right like a lot of the media social media is all ran by a propaganda algorithm like push whatever they want you to see out there and you can't really uh are you against the narrative you know giving kids independence we don't have that anymore everybody's constantly terrified and scared i live in countries where it's not like that you still see kids running around with their friends playing cricket riding their bikes running around and they have the same old school come home when the lights come uh, the light the street lights come on you know what i mean that whole refreshing to see little kids and little boys just running through the dirt and running through the field and running through the trees or even in the cities just playing nobody's eyeballs are glued to the fucking screen or tablet or phone or video game and i'm not saying they don't have those things but they spend a good chunk of their time just outside in the fresh air getting exercise with their friends falling down scraping their knees getting in trouble sneaking around like little kids are supposed to do when they're young and this is like feels like it's been obliterated in the west yes there's probably certain parts of the west that still have it like you know the countries and stuff like that the smaller towns but for the most part it feels like that's just kind of disappeared a lot of parents do pacify their kids with uh, screens but that's been going on for a long time especially with single mothers and single parents like my mom definitely did that she definitely plopped me in front of a tv to babysit me and I don't approve of that, but I understand when you're a single parent and you're overworked and your kid is already addicted because you got them addicted and they just throw a tantrum and I know how it must be so much easier just to give it to them, but you got to think of the long-term effects. Raising a child is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your life beyond anything else. Um, and it's one of probably the hardest jobs that you will ever do among above anything else. When you make that decision, those are the things you're signing up for. If you're not ready to sign up for those things, 
don't fucking have kids. I know you can't help everything that happens in life, but there's way too many ways not to have children. I'm not for abortion, but there's way too many other ways to protect yourself from getting pregnant, to just having kids just nonchalantly or just zombie yourself way through life and having kids because that's just what you're supposed to do as an adult. And then you just like throw your kid a scream because you don't feel like raising them because it's too hard and you're too stressed and you're too tired. I, I can't say I get it because I'm not a parent, but I also feel like if you decide to be a parent, you signed up up for it so you have to do the hard work to do that all right you signed up for it so you have to do the hard work to do that you know he hit on the gender thing i believe biologically there's two genders and then there's a spectrum in between um but i do think it's kind of this weird predatory agenda to hyper focus on sexuality gender and sex expression or identity to children that are too young to even grasp it or understand it feels predatorial to me and i don't like it and when it comes to bullying i don't support bullying especially these days that it's online and it's not something as easy as just walking away from it or punching someone in the face and they leave you alone bullying is a lot different than it was in adam calhoun's day and even in my day when i was being bullied in elementary school and middle school like I that's how I got on my bullying to be honest I did end up physically fighting my bullies and winning even though I'm a girl and they're a boy sticking up for myself did result in bullies leaving me, me alone but this day and age bullying can be way more invasive and way more just harmful and people kids have committed suicide and killed themselves off of cyberbullying so I'm not gonna say that oh yeah I support bullying it makes you stronger but I do support the idea of allowing kids to figure out their own shit to get through their own shit so they're better off and to be able to do that as adults because they don't have someone constantly running and helping them out and fixing up the, their, their problems i remember when i was a nanny like again i was never a parent but i did nanny and i was a child care worker for a while and one of the things i would do is i would take her to the park i would play with her for a little bit and then i would sit back and sit on the bench and let her play and she was like maybe two three years old three years old maybe and it would be other mothers there or other nannies there and they'd be like which one is yours and i'll point to her and they'll be like aren't you scared she's gonna fall aren't you scared something's gonna happen she's gonna scrape her knee aren't you scared and it was like if she does i'm right here like like i wanted i've always been big on teaching children independence at an early age and learning them figure out their own stuff at an early age and in socializing kids at an early age i mean kids these days who grew up in fucking mass wearing lockdown they're gonna be really fucked for a while but and it's not saying i didn't be i actually didn't do anything I, I watched her and i observed her and i did take care of her but for me it's like she can be on her own for five fucking minutes i'm right here i'm literally like three steps away and i would watch her and she would tumble or trip or fall and hit her knee and she would look up at me and see i was there i didn't overreact so she didn't react to it and she just got back up and started playing you know if a little boy and pushed her down or took her toy she would get up and take her toy back like she learned at an early age how to be independent and not throw a giant tantrum and think the end of the world was happening just because she kind of hit her knee a lot of children go off of your reactions and if you don't overreact a lot of times they won't react to it either so i'm just really big i'm really against I am like a hundred and a billion times for the kids. Helicopter parenting and bulldozing parenting. I apologize if that's your type of parenting and you feel like I'm judging you or you feel some type of way or defensive, but that's how I feel about it. Like I just think it destroys kids and it ruins people. It is just not good. It spoils the actual definition of spoil is to rotten to destroy like to, to degrade like why would you want to do that to your kid anyway <laughs> this video probably was longer than it had to be but i had a lot to say i really appreciate adam kahoon coming out with this video i don't always agree with everything he says or everything he does but i agree with most of what he said in this video i like the guy he should put more videos out like this you know what i mean they're fun anyway tell me guys what you think of adam kahoon's video anything i said let me know in the comment section below do you like these type of videos if i react to videos from any type of artist that you like that's not necessarily musical videos like interviews or just statements or little motivational speeches or something like that let me know in the comment section below like comment and subscribe hit that button get the notifications when i do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys and if you'd like to support the channel even further you can donate my paypal me link in the description must below and also in the comment section it helps but you don't have to you can just like comment and subscribe also i have a second travel vlog channel i travel as a lifestyle so if you'd like to know where i am in the world you can hit the link 
link down below go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and you guys have an amazing day bye